Welcome to NLL Halftime. Hi, everybody. I'm your host, Dave Walls. We'll get you back to your game in just a few minutes. Right now, let's get you caught up on where the league stands so far in the 2015 NLL season. The Toronto Rock got off to a fast start in week one over the defending champion Rochester Nighthawks by winning 13 to 12. This goal from Casey Beards with just under five minutes left proved to be the game winner as Toronto took it on the road in week one. The woes continued for Rochester as they traveled to the New England Black Wolves on January 10th, and it's the Black Wolves making a statement early in the season with a convincing 17-7 win. Kevin Crowley's hat trick and overall 10 points led all scores, with a post-game fight adding to the tension that these two teams will have the next time they face later in the season. In Week 2, the Minnesota Swarm spoiled the home opener for the Edmonton Rush thanks to this slick goal by Miles Thompson. Minnesota wins it 14-10. That same night in Vancouver, the Stealth opened up their home schedule, but the Toronto Rock moved to 2-0 with a convincing 20-11 victory. At the Loud House in Denver, the Mammoth were determined not to have their opener spoiled, but put on a classic battle between them and the Calgary Roughnecks. In the end, it goes to overtime, and who else but John Grant Jr. scores the overtime winner on the power play. Mammoth take it 17-16. The Buffalo Bandits also off to a hot start as they go to Vancouver in Week 3. Joe Reseteris with the hat trick and the game-winning goal with just under four minutes to play. Dane Smith, five goals, eight overall points, and also Ryan Banesh with three goals and four assists. Seven points for the Bandits. They take a one-goal win over the Stealth, 14-13. Let's get caught up on the league standings first in the Western Division. The Colorado Mammoths sit undefeated 2-0 at the top of the leaderboard, hosting the Vancouver Stealth on Saturday. Those same Stealth sit in second place, however, with a 1-2 record, just one and a half games back of Colorado. Both Edmonton and Calgary yet to get a win, but the two teams will play each other this upcoming Saturday at the Saddledome. Over in the NLL Eastern Division, it's the new kids, the New England Black Wolves, sitting undefeated 2-0 as they look to continue their winning ways this Saturday, hosting the Minnesota Swarm. Toronto also sets with a 2-0 record with a doubleheader this weekend, Friday against Buffalo and then Saturday on the road at Rochester. Buffalo sits comfortably in third place, just a half game back, 2-1, heading to Toronto on Friday night. Minnesota in fourth with a 1-1 one one record, uh, heading to New England on Saturday night. And the Rochester Nighthawks, they've started at the bottom before. In 2013, the Nighthawks, then the defending champions, lost their first four games of the season, only to finish 8-4 on their way to another world championship. That does it for NLL Halftime. Thanks for watching. To get the complete broadcast schedule of all the games for the National Lacrosse League, just head to NLL.com. We'll be back at you in just a moment. This is the National Lacrosse League.